these guys know the stage they're on. And right now, I'm gonna go center stage to step stools here. I'm gonna shut up here for a second. Introducing first, to my right, from St. Louis, Missouri, he is the leader of the Gary J movement, the stiff Robo Ginger, Gary J! To my left, from the horsepower gym, the war horse, Jake Parnell. The introductions close. Stepstool Sarah, I hope, is going to uh, make herself to safety as quickly as yeah, possible. Yeah, I, I do, want to, do want to give a quick shout out to her and Rich Palladino for being excellent hosts here for the family reunion. But yes, please get out of Dodge. We talk about this being a main event because it is two people who have had such spectacular matches all up and down the country. But let's be honest with ourselves. There might be blood to clean up. There might be chairs and a whole bunch of other weapons to clean up once this whole thing is through. I mean, it is last man standing, Kevin. That means somebody is going to have to win by forcing the other guy not to get up for at least 10 seconds. I, and I, I've seen these guys get up from all kinds of stuff. I, <laughs> I'm going to say I have to give that warning that if they come near us, we may have to abandon ship here. We'll throw that out here from the start. Hopefully it does not come to that. It'll, we had a whole bunch of nice production set up here, but uh, I don't think they really care. And, and these guys have had wild rivalries all over the place. A wild two out of three falls match earlier at uh, Circus Maximus last year for St. Louis Anarchy. Their return show of St. Louis Anarchy, which ended with chairs littered all over the ring. And these guys both a, a bloody mess. We've also seen cage matches. We've seen knockouts only matches. And of course, we saw the original Last Man Standing match back in January of 2018 that really escalated this thing to a different level, which was when ah. war horse Jake Parnell's mouth got ripped off by a, a portion of the ring rope, oh, the hook I, on the I ring can, rope. I can't look at that picture. I can't watch that match. It, I mean, he lives so with that gross. scar every day, but right now these guys are trying to scar each other's face and chest with these heavy strikes as the number one contender to the IWTV Championship. In there with Gary J standing toe to toe, standing in the pocket. These guys are just killing each other. I think something they would hate to hear, but I think it's so true is they're so evenly matched. They can chop each other as hard as the other can. They can throw throw forms and slaps the other can. And they are both two of the masters of the top rope double stop as well. They're so similar, which makes it so more interesting to me that they hate each other. I think that's probably why. I think there, it's a personal component that started with a question of who's the best. And then when there was not a definitive answer, the violence came out. Oh my God. Gary J just dived into the second row. He didn't give him a second to collect his thoughts, to gain it, get his breath. Gary J just coming at him with just uh, without a care. Total Maybe it's so he can't gain an inch, take a mile, whatever. Total reckless abandon. Parnell totally backpedaling the warhorse, really back on his heels, literally at this point. And, and you know. I don't know if he's technically, yeah, it looks like he is down. You got to wonder if he had been seated still in those chairs that would not even been a count that could have been administered by the official. Ooh. Goodness. Big chop. Gary J rolls Dick Parnell back into the ring. And this is just the beginning of what you expect from this match. Oh, a, a, like a rewind clothesline lariat. Parnell. Now Jake hitting the ropes. Oh! oh! They almost, they almost dove through the entrance curtain. Add a little bit of a, a tumbleweed onto that suicide die there. A Tiffany Suicida, if you will. And I will. <laughs> Absolutely, Parnell, back, what's he doing? I thought he was gonna take a breather for a second. Here's the thing, you're gonna ask what they're doing a lot in this match. And the answer is, I don't know. Oh! I never know. Oh my I don't God. have the mental capacity of somebody like Gary J to see someone standing on the top rope and think, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw a chair at that man's head. Oh my God, the way it landed. That, I mean, it, it, he, the first impact hit his hand and then it spun around and the top spine hit him and looked directly like it hit him in the eye. Honestly, that was uh, almost a worst case scenario if you're Jake Parnell. You know, I'm just starting to think he really likes hitting him in the face. I don't think there's any question about it. These guys, uh, all this is all they know, Kevin. All they know is 100%. All they know is a fist fight. All they know is a war until somebody can't stand up, which is how this is going to end eventually, if it ever does. This could, yeah. I mean, we may not have a winner. I mean, that's what I was going to say. Is, you know, the reason, one of the reasons Last Man Standing is they know that, gosh, like just a, a traditional wrestling match, 
may not do it. That we could be here for more rounds in the European rounds match that, that Cassidy and Gresham had in our opener. They've spilled now into the sort of the back area here. They might be heading up to the balcony. Oh God! Don't even, don't even, please don't even say that. <laughs> don't even say that. It's been said. They've spilled it is out there in the, uh, in the into the back. Oh, field. oh my God! He just, he just body slammed around the hardwood floor. Listen, that floor, that that's not like some light paneling. No, that is that a floor sucks. hard concert venue floor. And, and I can't believe Parnell's back up. Yeah, that, that floor is meant to endure a lot of body weight on it, a lot of jumping. And so it is as hard as it can get. And Jay's head just ricocheted across the top of that chair. Parnell's talking smack to him now. I get that this is personal, but if I'm Jake, I'm just trying to stay on top of him and get this thing won. I mean, for them, it's adding insult to injury. That's really what it is. They're spilling all around this ringside area. What do you, what do you think, Dylan Hales? For some people who've wrestled each other over a dozen times in singles competition, in cage matches, I quit matches, you know, oh! just submission matches, everything you can name. What is a strategy going into a match like this? I mean, what is there something new at this point you can even show your opponent I, I when you're so used to each other? I really don't know. I don't ever question these guys and what they can come up with. And the number one thing I don't question is their resilience. For 99% of pro wrestlers, a guy hits you with a Northern Lights suplex on the floor, you're staying down for a lot longer than 10 seconds. Yeah, it's true. And the reality is I can see Gary J right now, and he's back up. He is back yeah. up at, at just five. I mean, what is it going to take in this match? These guys are just wired differently than other professional wrestlers, other people in general. The amount of pain they can endure and dish out is just out of this world. Yeah, absolutely it is. We should note, I will note here, that despite the current state of Gary J, in the original Last Man Standing match, not only did he rip the mouth of Jake Parnell open, he also won that match. So technically under this stipulation, in theory, maybe he's got the advantage? I don't know. It's so hard to say who has an advantage in a match like this. Yes, in a match of this caliber, he's the one, he has won before, but there's just so many variables so, in a match like and, this. And so much can change. I mean, the reality is, Warhorse Jake Parnell is one of the most improved pro wrestlers in the entire wrestling business over the last two years. He's a very different guy than he was when this feud started. So is Gary J yeah, for that matter. I, I was going to say, I mean, these are two guys who really had to transition from being part of a, of a well-traveled trio of individuals, quartet at times, and have really had to cultivate and change and adapt to becoming singles wrestlers. Yeah, and yet another similarity between the two of them. They have beaten each other into success, and they have done it all <laughs> over the country. And they're yes, doing they it have. now here in the main event of Family Reunion, Last Man Standing. And this, really, two of the four pillars, so to speak, of that St. Louis scene, that St. Louis anarchy scene here in Jersey City. Look at that flurry from Jake Parnell. And if any two people are people bringing anarchy to Jersey City, it's these two. And no question, that is why they were sent by the fine folks in St. Louis area. My God, he spun them and he dropped them right on his head. Parnell, I think, thought about rolling to the floor for a breather, and then it was almost like his brain didn't work on him. He could not even find his way out. He was able to roll to the apron. Both men down, we'll notice. The official is correctly administering the count here. It could be, you, you know, I think a lot of people assume it could be, it's going to have to be something wild in the last man standing. Right. That's not necessarily the case. You might get one big punch yep. that could put the, your opponent down for 10 seconds. We have seen it happen before. You could, you could knock out your opponent. You could, uh, I mean, these two guys could be fighting for so long they just exhaust themselves into not being able to compete. You could realistically have a, a no contest in a match like this. We absolutely could right now. God, look at the, look at the chest of both these guys. Look at their chest. Look at it. It's like total hamburger. My God, it's a, that's not a slap sound, that's a thud. And those are the scary ones. It sounds like a frying pan hitting the chest of Gary J. What's he doing? I think something, oh, I don't know. I, I do not know. Oh! That could be the knockout blow we were talking about that could take Jake Parnell out of this contest. Yeah, but, but, but look at Gary J too. He hit the floor hard himself too, Kevin Ford. That's right. He took all those chops, which takes all your wind from you. Mm -hmm. Then he fell on that DDT. He's using the, very smart. That's a smart rest. That's a veteran move. He used the ring post to get his equilibrium back and get his balance up. Very smart wrestling by Gary J. That's a guy who's been in a lot of fights, you can tell. Oh, 100%. He, he knows where he is at all times. What's he? Is he? He's ascending the ropes Oh, no, again. he's taking a break. He's taking a break, I think. No. No. No, he's not. not. There's no breaks here. 
He is, in fact, not taking a break. Instead, he is standing on the top rope. And I'm not sure. Oh, Parnell. I think he might have been going for a double stomp. Parnell playing possum. Oh! oh. We won't know what he's going for because Parnell just threw him off the top right up to his face and chest. And so it, you want to talk about making it hard to breathe all those chops? That's going to take a lot out of yeah, you, too. Yeah, you know, normally uh, on a German suplex, you want the impact to be high on the shoulders. You want it to be, uh, yeah, frankly, on the neck. In this instance, because of all that damage done to the chest of Gary J, him floating over, that might have been the worst thing that could have happened well, because that sternum may be broken. Yeah, and I think that, that lends best to this type of match, too, <laughs> where you want to make sure your opponent can't get up after a 10 count. No kidding. We're up to six. I mean, I don't know what happens if we have a double. I mean, I guess theoretically that would be a draw. Theoretically, it's a draw if they both can't get out. You don't see that. I'm not sure we've ever seen that in the last man standing. But I believe that would have to be the official ruling. We're getting awfully close. Well, oh. Oh, they're up. The floor has saved them. They couldn't make it up to their feet on the mat in time, but they have both slipped out to the floor of their feet, touching the ground. They're both standing. This match continues. Walking toward each other. Dead center there. Oh, he bit him. Ah, he bit his hand. That's his chopping hand. He bit it. That's a god. He just chopped him in the throat. He's chopping in the neck. Oh, oh. Just thudding strikes. As the match progresses, these guys get more and more tired. I still do not see these them letting up from these strikes. No, I don't either. They're just as much behind him as oh. they did at the beginning of this match. And he just threw Parnell into the second row over here. He also hit the wall along the stage. Yeah, now it's time to get creative, I think. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, we've not seen anybody up on the stage, and I'm a little nervous because, uh, not to peel back the curtain too far, but we're on this we stage. We are on the stage. Off to the side. Yeah, this could be I would very prefer bad they us. don't get anywhere near us. Parnell. Oh, oh God! God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God, his head hit the chair, too. That's the... His oh. head hit the chair on top of the impact of the stomp itself. His head and, fa the head and face of Gary J. Skipped off of the chair. And think of the momentum picked up by Parnell. Running off the stage and jumping with all everything he has in him full force into Gary J's head. And Parnell, Unreal. I mean, listen, if Parnell wins this match, IWTV officials got to think very seriously about getting him that title shot as soon as possible. Oh, yeah. Because he's the number one contender coming in, he's main eventing here, he's wrestling his career rival in a last man standing match. What more do you need to prove at that point? Well, I think he might, that, that might add a little bit to this match. Where he's thinking, how come I didn't get the title match here on the family reunion show? A valid question. You know, at, at, the, at, at the moment of, uh, of, this, of this show's beginning, he was the number one contender. It's not like he, that was a ruling made as the show was going on. So he, he does have a valid argument there. Parnell is. Looking around, oh, oh, yeah, he's got a door. You know, uh, our, our, our friends over at Game Changer Wrestling, they helped to organize this whole thing, the collective, and they've made the door the, the go-to. I guess it's I shouldn't staple, be, yeah. I guess I should not be surprised that there was a door under the ring. I guess it, it, it makes sense here at the collective for a door to be there at Parnell. This crowd coming alive for him as he just takes the carcass of Gary J. He's barely able to stand up as is. Oh, wait. Going maybe for a power bomb there? Doesn't get it. Dude, I don't even want to know what's going to happen with that door. The thickness of that door, I don't even know if, if their body's going to break oh! through it. Oh, I spoke too soon. God. But think about how much effort, how much strength it takes to break someone's body through a door. A Death Valley driver through a door, and by the way, a door that wasn't in the ring, a door that was on the floor, which means then you hit that. <laughs> yeah, and one that, that Parnell really set up for his own demise. Absolutely, I mean, he did, I mean, you're not wrong, he did it to himself. I think we and a lot of the audience counted out Gary J after that double stomp off the stage. He thought it was safe waters for him to explore with this, What's with this? this door, and uh, no, no it wasn't. Oh, those are some of like, it looks like some of the tools that helped put the ring together. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's taking the whole thing apart. We've seen this before. That, this is how that lip, that mouth. It of, sure is. Of Warhorse Jake Parnell was, was mangled and destroyed. This is where that scar comes from. 
is he's going to try to make Warhorse relive maybe the worst part of his entire wrestling career. And, and, and Gary J is really trying to disassemble the ring. He knows he's got his man down, this and he's sick. looking to get. He wants that ring post again. He wants that ring hook. I got what? <laughs> and Parnell circled around the back door. You know, he's got he's obsessed with doing this, but he's got to remember he's still in a fight. There's still a guy you're trying to beat. It's it's so hard when you have tunnel vision. Oh my to god. Look outside of it here. He is literally he, he's not content with one hook. He's taking down the entire top rope. Why use one hook when four will, will increase your chances of getting you to your end goal? I mean, if you're Parnell. You, I'm not sure you want to roll back in the ring. This almost ended his career the first time we saw this. Like you said, he's got that permanent scar that he has to look. Every time he looks in the mirror, he's reminded of that horrifying incident that almost ended his career. Gary J wants him to relive that here. Again, this main event, the yeah, main reunion show. And, and, and what he did was he put it in the mouth of Parnell and he threw him over the remaining ropes. And Jake is trying to fight it off. Rolls through. Jake hit that middle. Oh, God. Oh. He just, he just turned him inside out on that lariat. The ingenuity of him to be able to throw his body into just two ropes to pick up the momentum for that lariat. And Parnell back in the driver's seat here, and he's got the hook. That is not an adaptability that all wrestlers have, but here we have Parnell. Oh no, he's oh going to give Barry J a taste of his own medicine. He's got his mouth, he's digging in his mouth. He is attempting to do what was done to him. He's ripping at it. Jay's got a free hand this on it. I think so, he's able to This is so difficult. kind of block some of it at least or try to. Oh! Ah! Oh my god. That is exactly what happened to the mouth apart. That's how his mouth got ripped open. This is disgusting. And I mean the crowd, the crowd kind of hushed. Yeah. I mean like the people here are enjoying this match and I think for a split second it got to be a little bit. It's too much. There's a, there's, a, there's a line of violence you accept in a professional wrestling match of this caliber. And I think it was just crossed. And I'm not saying that necessarily Parnell was in the wrong. He's doing what Gary J did to him, and I think all's fair in love and war. But I, I think the, to the audience, it, it took them off guard and may have just been one step too far for their liking. And Parnell is back. Oh, God, he's got another door. I mean, this this backfired him in the first time. I think it takes tremendous guts to try this again. Yeah, I, I, guts are, are uh, irrationality. Sure, not, I mean, not, call it what you will. There's no way I'm calling that guy stupid. I don't want to deal with it later if he's uh, still mobile after this match. Throws a chair in, too. He's picking Just up everything he can find. He's picking up everything he can find. And, and Jay has slid back into the ring. Gary, I mean, he's sort of moving. Uh, I don't know if involuntary twitching counts as moving. That's kind of what's happening. He's, he, look at him. He's he's mocking Gary J. He's letting him know what's what's coming to him. These Kawada style kicks. A knee there at the oh. end of it. God. Oh, oh. Just peppered him with shots. He went for that pop up knee. He likes to use it. Oh no 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 Half and half suplex. And I, I, I'm gonna do a little I'm gonna do a little amateur physics here, Kevin Ford. Without a top turnbuckle there, it feels like the weight distribution problem of landing as high up as he did on his neck is worse. There's less to brace you on impact. Yeah, I, I I'd say that's that's right on the money. And look, but look. Parnell's such a rough shit, he has to use the chair to literally keep his balance, to stand, to keep standing. Both of these guys have, have battered each other to the point of physical exhaustion, not to mention the pain. Look at, God, look at that, that camera image. You can just see the red welts all over the body of Gary, literally all over his body, all over his oh back, God. his arms. Every, oh! He, uh, he's gonna, he'll break his neck. He will break his neck if he does this. We're gonna have, we're gonna have an ambulance here if this happens oh he's still oh he elbowed him right in the face and jay now up to the second oh 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 my god no and parnell is back up parnell is amazingly he still, still standing oh 
If his neck wasn't broken already, it 100% is right now. And Gary J almost defiantly sitting in the chair, sitting down as the referee makes his count, oh, administers he's his begging count. begging for him to count more quickly. He does not want this to continue. We're up to six J now. I think Gary's thinking, do I intervene? Do I inflict more punishment or do I try and play the odds here? I, I, does Gary J want to tempt fate? Wait a minute. He's. That's it. Your winner and the last man standing, Gary fucking Jay.